Utah's congressional delegation is weighing in as the fallout continues over Senator Flake's harsh criticism of President Trump. Political specialist Lad Egan joins us now with what they had to say. Lad? Yeah, Dini, our senators and representatives are caught in a tough place here because Flake is a fellow Republican from a neighboring state, also a BYU grad, which is why they are walking a fine line when it comes to supporting him and the president. Mr. President, I rise today to say enough. Following his surprise speech Tuesday, Senator Jeff Flake kept at it today. I'm sorry, I, I just, uh, I think that when the president is wrong, you ought to call him out. On cable news, Utah Senator Mike Lee commented on Flake not seeking re-election. He made a decision that was best for him and best for his family, and, and I salute him for that. Lee disagrees with the public feuds, but says he still agrees with President Trump's goals of limited government and separation of powers. I hope to continue to fight for those. And insofar as this president is willing to fight for those things, I'll stand by him in that effort. Utah Representative Chris Stewart also downplayed any large rifts in his own party. I think it's probably overstated to say it's a civil war. In fact, I know it's overstated. Look, we have some internal disagreements within the party. There's no question. We always have. Stewart called on his colleagues to support the president rather than nag at him. I wish, frankly, that they all would just kind of quit it. Look, I don't agree with everything that our president says or with everything that he tweets, but I do agree with his policies. I think Senator Flake agrees with his policies. Meantime, the president had some biting words of his own today for the outgoing Arizona senator. His poll numbers in Arizona are so low that he couldn't win. And I don't blame him for leaving. I think he did the right thing for himself. We also reached out to Representative Mia Love, who says she wishes that Flake would stay and be an example of civility. As for Senator Orrin Hatch, he told us Flake is one of the most honorable men in politics who will be dearly missed. But Dini, he wouldn't comment on the nasty spat that Flake is having with the president. Like you said, they're in a tough spot. Yeah, so exactly. uh, thank you, lad. Next.